news. Somebody stole their pet alligator. Of course. Where did this happen, Dave? Florida, because Florida. they have pet alligators. I would never have one, though. How many times did you run into alligators when you lived in Florida as a kid? Um, I well, You'd see them occasionally. Yeah. Usually. But you knew enough to stay clear. Usually their heads in the water or perhaps on the uh, on the bank sunning themselves. But that's about it. You leave them alone. Okay. So apparently this guy had a gator living inside of his uh, mobile, mobile home. home. Yeah. Uh, and it had gotten trapped in his backyard or something, and he took it, he taped up its mouth, yeah. which is just cruel. So I guess somebody broke in. Maybe they were trying to liberate the animal or take it for themselves. I don't know. Gator's still on the loose, though. We don't know who got it. What do you feed a gator anyway? Well, nothing. Small if it's, animals? Nothing. I, if, it's, I if its snout is, is taped shut. I, uh, all right. Then there's this guy who, who decided to rob a gas station. Right. Only... He, I guess, didn't have anything good for a disguise to wear. Right, so he used a Sharpie marker. Uh, he was seen uh, on, on surveillance footage with a with a big, like, goatee-style drawn-on beard, yeah. just black as night with a Sharpie. Beautiful, beautiful disguise. First, you think no one will recognize you, and then second, you don't think any news organization wouldn't pick that up right? and then transmit your picture everywhere. Plus, you have to stay inside for a couple of days because Sharpie does not come off easily. you got to scrub that. Really? I've, I've never had it on my face before. Well, haven't you had it on your hands or anything before? No. Sharpie? No, no, not like Come that. Here. No, no, no. Come no. here. Not like that. Come here, that. I'm going to get you. I'm going to put no. a beard on you real quick. See how long it takes to come off. Three to four weeks. 